Hey everyone, David here and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to show you how to hack and tosh a Dell Optiplex 755. This is the most detailed guide which you can find. From my research, nobody has done a tutorial similar to mine. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is first of all go on a macOS computer or on an existing Hackintosh and get a copy of macOS El Capitan. If you don't have it already downloaded, go to the first link in the description which will take you to a download macOS El Capitan page. Scroll down and go to the download macOS El Capitan from the App Store. Click on the link get macOS El, El Capitan which will take you to the App Store. and press on the blue download button. I already have downloaded El Capitan, so I won't need to download it again. Next, plug in your USB drive to the same computer that you have downloaded macOS El Capitan on. And then click on the search icon and search Disk Utility. After Disk Utility is open, click on the view box and select Show All Devices. And then click on your USB drive name. In my case, SanDisk Ultra Media. Make sure your USB drive is 16GB or higher or else there won't be enough space in the, on the USB drive. After you have clicked on your USB drive, click on the Erase button. Name the USB drive USB in capital letters and then format as macOS Extended Journaled and the scheme needs to be Master Boot Record. Make sure you have backed up any important information on the USB drive. Then click on Erase. It should take a couple of seconds. After your USB finished formatting, go to the search button and search Terminal. After you have opened Terminal, paste this command that I will link in the description. Make sure your install macOS El Capitan app is in the Applications folder, or else it will not work. After you have pasted the command, press Enter. Then it will ask you for your password. After you typed it, press Enter. Then it will ask you to format the USB drive. Type Y. Then press enter to continue. Now it will copy the files to install macOS El Capitan. When it says done in the terminal window, you can now exit out of terminal. Then download the Hackintosh files folder from the description. Open the folder, go to the Clover folder, and then click on Clover V2.4KR4097. Click on continue, continue, then click on change install location and select the USB drive that you have just created. Then click on continue, then click on customize and then select these following options. Select install Clover in the ESP. Then on bootloader, click on install boot 0AF in MBR. On Clover EFI, make sure Clover EFI 64 bit SATA is selected. On driver 64 EUFI, select EMU variable UEFI, OS X Aptio Fix DRV. And finally, partition DXE. Finally, select install RC scripts on target volume. After that, click on the install button. Okay, now that we have the bootloader installed, we still have to install some other stuff. Now open the USB drive and go to the EFI folder, then Clover. Delete the config.plis file on the USB. And copy the config.plis file there and paste it on the Clover folder in the USB.
then go to ACPI, Patched, and paste the dsdt.aml file there. While you're copying, it will ask you for your password. Then go back to the Clover folder in the USB and go to the Kex folder. Then go to the other folder and in the Hackintosh Files folder, go to the Kex folder. Copy the Kex in the Hackintosh Files folder to the other folder in the USB drive. Then go back one folder and go to the 10.11 folder and copy the Kex there too. Now you're done with the bootloader. Close both Finder windows, open again the USB, and copy the Hackintosh Files folder there. Then eject your USB drive, and then plug it into your Hackintosh. Now, you can power on the Optiplex. Then immediately press the F2 button to get into the BIOS. When you have entered the BIOS, go down to the maintenance section and click on load defaults. Then press on continue. When it shows factory default acknowledgement, press enter. Now press ESC and click on exit. Then press F2 again to get onto the BIOS and go to the boot sequence settings and move the USB to the first boot order. U is for up, and D is for down. Then press escape, and select save and exit, and press enter. Now the computer will boot into the bootloader. Then select the volume Boot OS X from Install OS X El Capitan and press space. Then check if Dash V is enabled. If it is, select Boot Mac OS with selected options and press enter. Now the computer will boot into the installer. Now, click on Disk Utility and then press Continue. Then select your hard drive and click on Erase. Call the drive what you want. I call it Hackintosh HD. Make sure the format is OSX Extended Journal and the scheme is GUID Partition Map. Then click on Erase. Then exit out of Disk Utility and select OS X and press continue. Then follow the install steps and now Mac OS should be installing. stuck at about a second remaining, it is not stuck, just wait. After you're rebooted, in the boot menu, 
Select Boot OS X Install from Install OS X El Capitan. After completing the install, it will reboot again, but now select Boot Mac OS from Hackintosh HD, or what you name the volume, and it should boot to the welcome screen, where you can set up your Hackintosh. <laughs> When you have entered the desktop interface, close the keyboard setup assistant if it is there, and then go to Finder, Preferences, and select Hard Disks and Connected Servers. Now your hard drive will be shown on the desktop. Now go into the USB and copy the Hackintosh Files folder to the desktop. Now we will install the bootloader on the Hackintosh's hard drive. Open the Hackintosh files folder, click on Clover, and open Clover V2.4K R4097. And do the exact same thing as you did for the USB, but instead of installing it to the USB, select your hard drive at the Change Install Location menu. When the installer finishes, exit the installer and now you will see an EFI partition mounted on your desktop. Open the EFI partition and go to the EFI folder, then Clover, then delete the config.plist and replace it with the one from the Hackintosh files folder. Then go to the ACPI and then patched on the EFI partition and copy the dsdt.aml file to the patch folder in the, ha in the EFI folder. Then go back into the Clover folder in the EFI partition and click on Kext and transfer the Kext in the Kext folder in the Hackintosh Files folder to the folders in the EFI partition called Other and 10.11. Now your bootloader should be installed. Now you can unplug the USB drive and then reboot your Hackintosh. If you did everything correctly, your Hackintosh will boot without the USB drive. Now that your Hackintosh is almost complete, now we need the audio drivers. Go onto the Hackintosh files folder then double click on Clover Configurator. 
They're going to do mount EFI and mount the EFI partition. Open the EFI partition, then go to EFI, Clover, and then double click the config.plist file. On Clover Configurator, click on the boot section and unselect the dash V flag and save the file. Then open the EFI partition in Finder and go to EFI, Clover, and then Kects. Now on the Hackintosh Files folder, go to the audio folder and copy apple alc.kext to the other and 10.11 folder in the EFI partition. Now you can reboot your Hackintosh and your sound driver should be installed. Done! You made your Dell Optiplex 755 a Hackintosh! Hope you have enjoyed this video and I would love if you shared this video around to other people in need of a good tutorial. The Hackintosh actually works really well and I may do a tutorial how to upgrade it to Sierra if you guys tell me to. So I will catch you in my next video. Bye!